This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruschi. Featuring author, psychologist, and daily contributor, Siobhan Scott. If your loved one is in prison or jail, you have to assume that any communications you have with them or they have with you, it can be still used against them. It can be looked at. A lot of people can get access to it. And that's exactly what's going on right now in the murder case of Madeline Soto. Uh, the family of Stefan Stearns uh, writing some letters back and forth. We have one right here. We'll take a look at in uh, just a moment. But within those letters is some very interesting information or accusations of others being involved uh, in the abuse, the murder of Madeline Soto. That's kind of uh, up for debate, uh, depending on how you interpret the language. Joining me to discuss, Siobhan Scott, psychotherapist, and author. Basically, uh, we have letters from the brother of Stefan Stearns, and we have one from mom. Mom is the one who I found to be the most interesting, talking about uh, that there's other people involved uh, in this, and seemingly she has some sort of knowledge of thing. We all know blank, redacted, the name's not in there. I'm assuming she's talking about Jen Soto, that's just my assumption, was heavily involved in this, and I'm disgusted that she is free and you are not. When this is not all your fault, what was your reaction to reading this? this yeah, letter from yeah, Tom? yeah. Um, really strange thinking. It's not all your fault. Well, if any of it was his fault, <laughs> all this material was on his phone. You know what? Yeah. A, what an attempt to minimize there. And the other thing that popped into my head is it's very common for mothers to have great difficulty believing that their kid could be a monster. And so is this rationalizing an attempt for her to, to feel better, you mm -hmm. know, that, well, other people led him into it or other people were involved or, you know, he's not really the monster he appears to be. What I find interesting is it's like, well, you're kind of, you're like monster light. Like you're, you're yeah. kind of a monster, but you're not yeah. all a monster. Yeah. Um, that to me is just it, it's shocking and especially in a case like this where it's pretty cut and dry um yes. there, there's not a lot up for debate here there's images of him having uh, raping uh a, a child um on this phone for many many years uh it's there, there there's no looking back and saying oh it's not real it is um so in, in some aspects she seems to have an understanding of this being reality but still, I guess, is she not grasping the gravity of what exactly is going on here? I mean, this is it. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I would think at this point you'd just be done with your kid. Oh, my God. Yes. Now, she's clearly minimizing. She's minimizing, rationalizing and looking for someone else to blame, which is not a healthy way to be. You know, mm -hmm. it shows that there's some some red flags about her perception of reality. It's off. Did you garner anything out of this letter that maybe she was aware of some of these things going on because there was a lot of we all know she was in this into that too you did <laughs> really right you you knew yeah. you knew that other things like what did yeah. you know and when did you know it that's yes. that's a weird thing to me what did you take out of some of those things? It, i had the same thought it, it has this sense that the awareness is not new mm -hmm. and you know at how far back was you know was the awareness that there's something off here and mm -hmm. did she know the full extent of it or did she just have some hints about it yeah um it was it was a very weird letter with people like this i always I, I go back and I say, well, what's the recipe? What what made what made Stefan Stearns? You know, what what this is one of the pieces right there, mom. Yeah. Um yeah. and and that's what made me kind of start to raise more my eyebrows on this was okay. The the minimalization on these things, the somewhat seemingly recognition that there is some knowledge of what's going on here with her son. Um, okay, well, how was he raised? What the hell happened mm -hmm. in that house? Mm -hmm. um, exactly. And, and that's that's the, an interesting one that I think, I mean, should that should that be investigated as part of this case to understand, you know, what made this person who they are today? Not to minimize it or dismiss anything, yeah. but it, it makes you wonder, okay, you're cool with this. 
What, who else right. do you know? What else is going on in your world? What else do you know? And and so many of the allegations from people that knew him going back years, friends, he was always weird sexually. He was always obsessed with porn, um, just strange stories. And to what extent did she know that? And just let it be, you mm -hmm. know, be, be accepting of it. Um, it's certainly questionable. It's a uh... It's very bizarre. Where do you think we're going to see, or where do you think things are at here? Uh, obviously, there's been no charges against Jen Soto as of right now. That's, of course, mom, uh, who it seems is being insinuated in the letter uh, as having more knowledge of this, at least from Stefan Stern's mom. But why haven't we seen an arrest there yet? Because it seems very evident, at least my conjecture on it is that, yeah, there was some knowledge here. I mean, she's encouraging her daughter and her boyfriend to go sleep together. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird that there hasn't been, because I agree with you. Um, the extent of this abuse and her seeming collusion by putting them in the same bed together, it's bizarre that she could claim she had no idea that any of this was going on and her, you know, attempting to enable him during the the search where she was comforting him. I mean, there's so much that's off and so much that's suspicious. It surprises me that there hasn't been an arrest. But we would think if they could come up with something significant, they would have done it by now. So it's another curious aspect to this. Yeah, it, it makes you wonder, is she, is she providing more information to bring more people down or are they just going to kind of let yeah. her do her thing and just keep collecting as as they can yeah. to, to, to do just that? Yeah. Fascinating one as uh, that uh, I know the, the next hearing, I believe, for Stefan Stern is uh, now in uh, October. They keep pushing the trial date back. I'm going to guess because they're just still gathering more evidence uh, of yeah. what the hell's going on here. Want to listen ad free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.